What's up everyone, Tavius here and today we are talking Bleak Watchers. My Warlocks, we all know Bleak Watcher turrets are so much fun to use in PvE and Cold Snap Grenades are super useful and pretty annoying in PvP. And with this build you'll be able to cover both and switch between PvE and PvP pretty easy. So first we're gonna cover our aspects and fragments in detail for any new lights. Then we'll go over the armor and armor mods and we'll finish up with some weapon options to get the most out of your grenades and turrets. Now let's get into it. For a grenade we're using Cold Snap Grenade with a base cooldown of 2 minutes. We're going to bring this cooldown way down with fragments and armor mods, I'll go over that in a second. For my aspects I'm going with as flare bolts, shattering frozen targets spawn seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets, chaining freezes from enemy to enemy. And Bleak Watcher of course. Hold your grenade button to turn your grenade into a stasis turret that fires slow in projectiles at nearby targets. Of course, the more grenades, the more turrets you can have at the same time. Now let's talk about the fragments. First we have the Whisper of Rending, where kinetic weapons do increased damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. We'll be using our kinetic weapon a lot with this build, so this one's a must. The Whisper of Fissures increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal, crystal or defeat a frozen target. Really useful when adds are close together. The next one is the Whisper of Torment. You gain grenade energy each time you take damage from targets. And for our last fragment, the Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional crystals increases the duration of your grenade recharge rate. In my opinion, all these aspects and fragments together are already sounding pretty broken, but let's break it even more. Moving on to the armor. On my helmet I have Harmonic Siphon. Rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass type create an overpower. power, so we need a stasis weapon for this. I also have a rocket launcher ammo finder and well of restoration, which is in the stasis affinity of your armor. Picking up stasis elemental wells grants you additional energy for your ability that has the lowest energy. Since we'll be using our grenade a lot, this energy will go to our grenade for the most part. Okay, now let's talk about our exotic, the Osmiomancy Gloves. New with the release of the Witch Queen expansion and farmable through Solo Legend and Master Law sectors. These gloves allows us to have two upgraded Cold Snap Grenades, they recharge quicker on direct impact and the Seeker spawn travels further. This is super useful in PvP to freeze other players. Although it is kind of fun to flank players with your turret, players will destroy your turrets almost immediately, so for PvP it's best to just use Cold Snap and the buff you get with these exotic gloves. Now the mods I've equipped on these gloves are an unstoppable glaive, but in this slot you can do any champion mod you need. Barrier bow for long range or barrier scout, pulse unstoppable, any energy weapon you want to use to stun champions works here. Our kinetic slot is already taken, I'll get to it in a second. The next mod is grenade kickstart. When your grenade is fully expended you gain grenade energy. This gives you a few seconds head start on your grenade cooldown, really useful. And last I have Font of Might. Picking up a stasis elemental well grants a temporary bonus to stasis weapons I might have equipped. For my chest piece I have Thermoshock Plating which gives us some arc and solar damage resistance. Then I have Rocket Launcher Reserves and Seeking Wells, one of my favorites. Any wells you create move towards players including yourself. This mod has been bugged for a while, not always works but most of the time it does and it's really useful. Moving on to the legs, I have a Glaive Scavenger, then Orbs of Restoration, another Stasis Affinity mod. Picking up a Norval Power grants a small amount of energy to your ability with the least energy. And last we have Well of Restoration, again. This mod stacks so I have one on my helmet already to get more ability energy by picking up a Stasis Elemental Well. And last for the class item I have Bomber in the Solar Affinity, which reduces grenade cooldown when using class ability so casting your healing or empowering rift gets you grenade energy. Then we have distribution which reduces all ability cooldowns when using your rift near targets. And last, elemental armaments. Combatant stasis weapon final blows have an escalating chance to spawn elemental wells. This is the mod that will get us some stasis elemental wells which are going to come to us with sickened wells and gives us extra ability energy with well of restoration and extra damage to our stasis weapon with font of might. Okay, so now that we have the armor and mods out of the way, let's move on to our weapon options. So for our kinetic weapon, I've been enjoying Traveler's Chosen a lot with this catalyst. 
If you don't know, the Catalyst turns this weapon into your subclass element by throwing a grenade with osmosis. By having this weapon be stasis, you can generate stasis elemental wells with kills and get a boost to its damage by picking up those wells with Font of Might. But that's not all. Also, getting kills with this weapon grants stacks of gathering light, up to 10. Stacks that you can consume to refill your abilities. The more stacks, the more energy. So not only do we have two cold snap grenades, but if you have stacks of gathering light, you can consume those to get another grenade and have three stasis blade watcher turrets going at once. Pretty sick. Now, if you really don't want to use Traveler's Chosen, or if you don't have the Catalyst, another weapon I would use is the Scout Rifle Servant Leader with Osmosis. You won't be able to consume stacks to get a third grenade, but having Osmosis will still be pretty beneficial, making Stasis Elemental Wells and getting a damage boost. Maybe a weapon with Demolitionist that gets you grenade energy with kills also. Okay, so for my energy weapon, I'm using the Glaive with Grave Robber and Thresh and also have Unstoppable Glaive for champions, but this could be a fusion, a bow for long range, an anti-barrier, or a sniper even. Something for long range, since Traveler's Chosen does not have the best range. Now for our heavy weapon, I went with a Stasis Rocket Launcher to take advantage of our Stasis Weapon buff with Stasis Elemental Wells, but you could also do a Stasis Machine Gun or a Stasis Grenade Launcher. The choice is yours. I decided to go with rockets because rockets have been really good lately and because my glaive is in the best at long range, so I could always just shoot a rocket at anything at a distance. My stats are leaning pretty heavy on grenade regeneration at tier 7 with a cooldown of 1 minute 24 seconds, and everything else is pretty even at about tier 5. Okay, so with this Blink Watcher build, we're going to have constant turrets aiding us in battle. Our exotic gloves allows us to have two cold snap grenades, which are great to have in PvP to freeze opponents, but in PvE gives us extra stasis turrets. Taking damage from enemies grants us grenade energy with the Whisper of Torment, and shattering stasis crystals boosts our grenade recharge rate with Whisper of Shards. We will generate stasis elemental wells with our Traveler's Chosen Catalyst and the Elemental Armaments mod. And those stasis elemental wells will grant us extra ability energy with the Well of Restoration mod and damage boost with Font of Might. Consuming your stacks of gathering light will grant you a third cold snap grenade you can turn into a turret so you can have three turrets instantly. And there it is my friends, a nice Blink Watcher cold snap grenade build all warlocks should know about. This build could be used in PvP with minimal adjustments since cold snaps are really useful in PvP. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like and heavy attack the subscribe button to support the channel. Also, I started a Discord community where you can contact me and nerd out about Destiny with other Destiny players. I'll put it down in the description. If you have any video suggestions or any feedback, comment down below and let me know. My name is Tavius Place. I thank you for your viewership, and if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.